Okay. Yep. We're oh, live. Okay. There you go. Oh, Jesus. Hi, everybody. I'm not dying. Uh, Nio is not dying yet. Um, we, I, first of all, thanks for joining us, and we'll <laughs> wait a couple of seconds for other people to join because it takes a little bit for it to, you know, people to know that we're here. Oh. But um, I just want to say, if for those of you that are following along, I've been a little remiss on my my private Facebook page for Crazy Bitches, but we are launching into production in less than a week and I've got somebody that's going to be helping me so there should be a lot of fun things happening there. Naya Wallace, for those of you that are uh, people who people who saw Crazy Bitches, you might might not recognize her but she played Dory yes. in Crazy Bitches. Very she kind had woman. wild hair. That's right. Wild, wild, crazy hair. Yeah. Um, and that's actually uh, where we met. It is. Yeah. And Nio, Nio is, is, has a role, a small role in this Crazy Bitch, Crazy Bitches web series. And then she's going to be coming back the following season if you all get us there uh, with your love and support and spreading the word. And uh, it will be a bigger role. <laughs> nice. That's right. Yeah, I that's like right. It. I like it. Yeah. And we had a really good time on that film. I, um, Hey Peggy, thanks for joining. Hi Peggy. Uh, Nio, Nio has this beautiful head. Head. Hair. It's shaped beautifully. See, see when I do that? It's shaped nicely. And when I met her, she had these this longish Fro. braidy thing. You had a braidy thing going, didn't you? It I was an Afro adjacent thing. It was an Afro adjacent thing. <laughs> and I was like, Will you? Uh, what happens when? Because she had a you had a weave. You yeah, had a weave, yeah. and I was like, you know, your character is cancer, and um, oh, Shane and Pat. Hey, hi guys. Hey. Pat what Laden, up? I haven't seen you for a while. Um, and Ida, hi. Um, Ida, all right. Yeah. So anyway, she she came to the audition, and she blew my socks off. As, and then I was like, hey, you I got your socks off. You did. <laughs> oh, I cried. Did I tell you? I never told you that. What? Oh yeah, she you know she does this. The, you know, the, the big speech you do at the yeah. end. Uh, Brady Bunch. Ha ha. Um, yeah, she comes in, she does this audition, and my friend Shade is there, one of my co-producers, and a couple other people, and we all looked at each other when she was finished, and we were like, oh, my tears in our eyes. It was so good. But I said to her, I'm like, you know, this hair, I don't know, what would it look like if you took, oh, yeah. the, took the weave out? And it's she's like, like take you know. the weave out? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> she was like, no, 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 it wouldn't get it. No, you don't want that. That wouldn't. I'm like, no. I think I, I think I might. I think I might want that. And then you took your weave out, and I was like, yes. Yeah. And you were like, no, oh, God. I grumble. Well, cause you know, hair. It's a whole thing. Hair is a thing. My hair is so thin. My grandmother used to say, I have a teaspoon of hair. <laughs> And that's what I have. Really? A that's so cute. It's cute. <laughs> that's so funny. That's true. And you know, it was like, um, oh, thanks, Shane. Uh, Thank it was, you, Shane. It was, it was really funny because one, you know, one of the last days that we were shooting, you had been up, we had been, the day before we had been up in a, de like a, like a blowy place where there's a lot of dirt and stuff like that and a lot of dust blowing around. And the next day we were shooting at the airport. And I was like, what's going on with your hair? Do you remember that? It was like separating. And I was Listen, like, what's going on with my hair? My hair was doing the best it could. It was like, why am I out? What's happening? It's true. And you, yeah. that's where you're like, Jane, this is black hair. This is what happens when you keep us out in the middle of the it's desert funny. with a wind blowing. Yeah, no, it's doing the best it could. Yeah, it was funny. Anyway, we had a, we had, oh, I forgot the bubbles, everybody. I always forget the bubbles. Oh. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is a whole thing now. Okay, oh, you come thing. back here and then I'll come back. Okay. Um. So yes, now you can go anywhere you I'm want. Professional. Um. So anyway, this whole kind of early history around hair mm. uh, is interesting because it's it's really goes to how people perceive other people. You know, you have one hairstyle and you walk into a room, you sort of seen as one way or another. And it's true. <laughs> Uh, well, because I wear lots of wigs, and that's... Anyway, And you ahead. see the difference? I absolutely see the difference. Well, with my acting, I always wear my hair, my normal hair, which is this. And, 
Oh, your hair for spa days. She's got a great wig. Oh, wait. What is your hair for spa days? What are you wearing? My hair for spa days? For the web series. That, that, that. I don't have it. Don't what? Have it. What? What are you? That long hair, that yeah, straight hair that yeah. you wore that you're not wearing? No, it no. needs to survive. It can't be in a hot tub. <laughs> no, baby. Uh, no, you're not getting, no, for the shoot. No, I thought you meant did I bring it here. Yeah. No, okay. no, I mean, I just tell them what it looks like. Oh, well, it's, uh, it's got these beautiful highlights and it's brown and it's kind of conservative, straight, long, bangy. Fabulous. Oh, yeah, it's you fabulous. look great in it. I love it. I love it, too. I love wigs. They make me happy. Hey, Josh. Hey, Josh. Is that you, Josh? Who, what? Do you know Josh? I do. Who's Josh? He's in my class. All right. Thanks for joining. Oh, he says boopity boop. That's yeah. a whole story. You want to tell it? No. All right. Only that he might die. Oh, is that too dark? No. <laughs> Not at all. It's Dabbing crazy happened. pictures. And, okay. You know, I mean, true. like, I do I'm a dark. sometimes. That was the other really ironic thing about Nayo doing crazy pictures because you don't like anything scary or dark. I don't. I'm such a wuss. I like Disney. You do? She Disney makes Disney. me happy. Yeah. I know that about you. I do. I can't do scary. I have nightmares. Aww. Aww. Thank you, Shane. Thank you, Shane. Yeah. yeah, no, I have nightmares. So, if my friend wants to take me to see a scary movie, they have to promise to sleep over and cuddle me through my Aww. nightmares. Did you, did you get it all scared watching Crazy Bitches? I mean, you knew it was coming. I knew, but it was still a little traumatizing. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Nicole. Um, uh, Nicole Williams. What's up? You. That's my homie from the D. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I mean, I thought that was funny because I had no idea. But after we were kind of into it, you were like, everything in the script, you were like, oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. You just like, I thought, how weird. You're doing this horror, horror movie where people, like, are di they die very interestingly. And yeah. You, yeah. No, I don't do horror. Why My not? sister took me to see and one of the Amityville horrors when I was little, too little to go, and I screamed for half of the movie. I don't know why That's no good. one put us out. I, and then I doesn't. stayed up for a week, which was really a day, my dad later told me. But it felt like a week. <laughs> it felt like a week. Uh, oh! Uh, Steve! Hey, Steve! We worked together back in the day. Yay. Harper Hospital, what's that? Harper Hospital is one of my first jobs. <laughs> I was the worst. So I was a unit clerk at Harper Hospital. And that's basically like a secretary. And I was so terrible. I think whenever I was coming on to anyone's unit, they're like, oh, God. Wait, I'm sorry. Like, Excuse me. me. What? Coming on to anyone's unit? That's not. She doesn't mean it that <laughs> Oh my god, I didn't even see. No. Disney. Sorry, sorry, Disney. sorry, 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 sorry. Yes. But I was not liked. You weren't liked? I bet no. you were liked. I no, it was terrible. Were... I was like, what does this say? Dopamine? Dopamine? Ah! I'll just pick one. <laughs> it makes a difference. Did you have, have any kind of different kinds of jobs besides that that were non acting, non. Yeah, my very first job was at this place called America's Pizza Cafe, downtown Detroit. Hey, Sonia! <laughs> Hi, I love it. Hi, Sonia. Oh, my homies from Yay. the dear. Oh, it's so Yay. fun. Oh. So, what, you worked at a pizza shop? Is that what you did? I did. I made salad and bread and desserts. Oh, you didn't make pizza, though. You weren't the, like, you weren't Listen, the I was beginning. You know, there's, yeah, yeah. there's a scale. There's like yeah. <laughs> I worked at a McDonald's. Did you? Yeah, I did. For about three months, I couldn't <laughs> stand it. And it gave me pimples because they put me on fries. And, uh, you know, you're standing over the fries and you're, you know, doing that. And it yeah. just, the, the grease was just oh rising God. up into my skin. It was awful. <laughs> Steve, Steve, Steve. Steve says I was great at Harp Hospital. I, I'm willing to believe that Naya was probably great at no. everything she does, to be perfectly honest. I was really terrible. Like, the, the supervisor sat me down and was like, listen, oh, <laughs> you really? got to get it together. We had a union, though, so they couldn't just fire me. But I know they wanted to. But I quit because I moved on to better That's right. Things. To, yeah, to Harper, Harper Hospital, apparently. Um, <laughs> and one of the things you moved on to was musical theater, right? I did. I did. Um, gosh, I did a couple things in musical theater. <laughs> I was really impressed because you did Broadway. 
I did. Didn't you? I did. I did the Lion King on Broadway. Did you really? I did. You want to sing something <laughs> for us? Oh my God, no, not with this beverage in my. Really? But I did wear. I I had. She's this, shy. I had this hair because I love wigs, so this is happening. Um, I had this hair for Rock of Ages when we did Rock of Ages back in the day, which was so much fun. Such a great show. But yeah, I like the wig. I do too. It's cute. My bestie said it looks like. A, uh, what did she say? She said, I look like a roundaway girl. Bamboo earrings. I need two pairs. That's what she said. I don't mind. I don't mind either. I think, I like it, I think it's working for you. <laughs> so what's it like? What's it like doing Broadway? I mean, that's. I think that's huge. I mean, I, I, it's such a rarefied world. There's a lot of people doing... I mean, when I say a lot of people doing television, film, and web series and everything else, there's so much product out there. But... When you're doing uh, musical theater, there's a minimal amount. Oh, what about Lydia and Pam? That's my mommy. Oh, mommy. What's up, mommy? Yay. What's up? And Pam. She found you. Yay. She did. I love you so much. So, so I just think, I mean, there's only a limited number of stage plays going on at any time. That means there's a limited number of actors working. Mm -hmm. And particularly Broadway, that's huge. Oh, yeah. No, it was so much fun. The Lion King in and of itself is such... I mean, it, it's... I don't even know how to describe it. It's. It changed my life. I started yeah. on tour. I did the tour for a year and a half. The first national tour. The Gazelle Tour. If any of those guys are out there, we um, had our 15-year reunion in Houston a few months ago. But it's like this big family. The Lion King is this big, wonderful family. And, you know, you just you stay connected even if you don't see people for a while you don't talk to people it's like you've gone through this experience that I think is unique for is, a lot of yeah. us even when you've done a lot of other musical theater there was just a bond that was created it was really magical and what, what is the gazelle thing I mean do they like is they name each tour yeah, so they like, do. a bunch of Lion King tours out there and yeah. each one has a different yeah, they do. animal yeah oh, well, right now that's they just really started funny. the Rafiki tour so oh, yeah. hey Janet and my Mr. Sister, sister Don Marie. <laughs> okay. I love these people. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> got her friends. Yeah, this is fun. It is fun. Yeah. Naya was really worried. She's like, I don't want to, I don't know. I, don't know. I, don't I was more than worried. Yeah, yeah. I thought I might not survive. Yeah. You survived. The vibe is helping. Well, you can, you can have more. I mean, I, I, I drank through the whole thing. Did you? Um, yeah, yeah, my glasses. I'm just trying to You know. Uh, though I'm like, she's drinking vodka, and you know how you, you guys, some of you know how I got on the last time I drank vodka during a hot tub talk, so I'm not having vodka, but you're handling it very well. I am. Yeah. Yeah, it's very good. So, um, so what would you say is the difference between, like, the, the, the difference I, in, in terms of the things you really love about doing musical theater, uh, as opposed to doing film? Oh, that it's live that it's right there I mean in the Lion King you know to be able to see the audience reaction their faces I mean like people would be weeping and there's there's nothing like that to, to have that live like you do something and there's immediate reaction on the other end yeah and so I miss theater kind of. do you here it's like nah. but yeah I mean you could probably do a local Hey, Mark and Chris, yay, and hey. Katie, all right, yes. hey guys. what's up, guys? Chris did our uh, visual effects for I remember, yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. I do. Um, and Mark Price is my next door neighbor, and Katie's a friend on Facebook, and a uh, good group of people tonight. I know, Mark, I Mark is actually doing um, Hot Tub on the 14th. Uh, oh, and Gail and Jamal. Gail and Jamal, right. what up? <laughs> is that my backup? Oh my it's god, just you guys. Excitement. <laughs> Naya's gonna be like in the back of the tub every time I do a hot tub talk. You're just gonna be there. So, um, so, okay. musical. No, I'm listening. She's not listening. She's had cocktails, and I think I lost her. You did it. No, I did. No, no, I did. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I think musical theater is great, but you don't do much with it. But I have seen you perform. Mm -hmm. On stage as a singer oh, yeah. at the cabaret. Oh yeah! Are you gonna do more of that? Yeah, I haven't been singing. I need to. Why? I know. I just, I, I just haven't. 
I need to dust off my vocal cords. Um, do you just not sing at all, like around, like around the house, or is it something you only do for, from a professional point of view? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you... I think because I haven't been doing anything professionally with it, I've let it. I've been lax with it. I mean, because you really, I, I would need to be disciplined and, and vocalize every day. And right. No, it's bad. But I need to. But you should. But I, I mean, should. I, I'm telling you guys, her voice is. Your voice is stunning. Mm, it really is. I'm Thank such a you. huge fan. The checks in the mail. Yeah, I am. But I am a huge <laughs> fan. Thank you. Um, you know, uh, what's her name that was, oh, it's going to come to me. We had a, we had a, a Broadway singer that lived two houses down, and she used to vocalize every morning. Oh, Adina Mizzou. What? Yeah. Oh, she, my she, God. When she was with Trey, t uh, Tay, Tay Diggs. I would have been outside what? her house like, oh, don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry. He's walked, they had a little dog, and they used to walk the dog, and I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Because yeah. he looks just as good in person as he does. Oh, Tay Diggs. Oh yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Oh yeah, he's so beautiful, and they were so nice. Like I don't. Teeth are who nice. knows what the hell happened nice with teeth. them? But they had, obviously they broke up. And... Oh, I know. Oh, you don't? No. No, no. Um, we're not gonna spread. Sandy. Sandy, what's happy up? Thanksgiving. Aww, um, thank you. this year. Um, but yeah, they, she used to do her vocal warm ups every morning, and I, sometimes it sounded terrible because it was like cat, cat, cat. Had a walling, it was just like, Whoa. oh yeah. yeah, and I just was like, oh my god. But you know, then you hear her sing live, and she's just oh. awesome and amazing. Oh. And so you know, it was kind of a weird experience. My little, we have a interesting little neighborhood, and there's always these. Every now and then, you stumble onto a celebrity oh. that rented a place to get away from, you know, uh, get, away from get away from something. Because this is like a getaway. I love that wig. <laughs> Don't get it wet. No, no, it's gonna get wet. No, it's gonna get wet. This is. I think this is one of my favorites. Is I it? Know, yeah, I like it. I love my wig. It's pretty and it frames your face nicely. Um, Don Marie, talk about your family. Can we talk about your family? Oh. Uh, Naya has a sister. very what? interesting oh, I didn't family. Get that. Oh, jeez. Yes, lady, come back here. Come back. <laughs> Come back here. Come back here. You're, you're upstaging me. Get back here. Um, <laughs> I just don't want my back is not the most no, beautiful no, no. thing for people to see. Oh no! Oh, um, stop. <laughs> that uh, looks like violence in your eyes. No, it wasn't. Not at all. Was but like, can we, oh, would you want to talk about your famous family? Um. Well, my. She has a famous family. My grandmother. Talking about famous people. My grandmother, uh, I'm not going to talk about her really, but I do post pictures of her because she was amazing. My grandmother was Vivian Dandridge, uh, part of the Dandridge sisters, if anybody knows their... Yeah, of course people know who that is. Yeah, That's Dorothy huge. was her sister and they performed with another woman at a... Oh my, this is, something's happening. I think it's a crooked child. Anyway, it's just so. There's something caught behind. No, yeah. Oh wait, there it is. No, wait. Here we go. Okay, I did it. There we go. Okay, all right. This is some realness. Tough talk, realness. Yeah, exactly. We're getting deep now. We're getting deep. No. Um. So your your grand your grandmother your aunt. Yeah. So your grandmother. My great grandmother and my grandfather actually. I think this is pretty cool too. My grandfather was also a performer. He was in Stormy Weather with Lena Horne, if anybody knows that movie. And he did some other stuff, but I think that's probably the most famous movie he did. I gotta admit, I haven't seen it. It's, I'm it's sorry, a good movie. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, no, it's a good movie. Anyway. I mean, Lena Horne is amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. I'm sure if she's in it, it's gotta be great. Yeah, no, it is. It's really good. So did but... so your grandfather and grandmother met on a set, or like they it was met it? on Stormy oh, Weather? Did they? Oh, that's they so cute. Did. It is cute. And then did There's he then he quit and she just kept going, or like was no? He went into the service oh, and uh -huh. um, and then I think had a difficult time when he came back. But uh, did he go did to, to war, like okay. World War Two? Yeah. War. World War Two. Why do you say it like, oh yeah? It's for real though, right? No, he did. Yeah. He had to go to I don't know where or how he served though. Um, but yeah. But he came back scarred because... He came back and that's they were like, who? 
I mean, when I did the Lion yeah. King for a year and a half, I came back and they were uh, like, who are you? So, that's what happens. It is what happens. You have yeah. to stay current. You yeah. know, it's interesting, and I won't name names, but I was talking to somebody about crazy bitches, and I was talking about um, actresses that I was thinking about, and I mentioned an actress who I thought was pretty, you know, had done a lot of work and should be known, and the person was like, ah, oh, now where have they been? Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, why? Like, what? Do you feel like you continue the family legacy? Do you think you're continuing the family? What, honey? Don't make that face. You are. <laughs> well, I think that it's funny because I just remember nobody wanted me to act. Nobody and I get act. it. I get it because it's a tough business. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, you get hurt? There's a lot of sacrifice. Yeah. There's so much sacrifice and there's so much... Uh, uh, turned down I can't think of the rejection line. there's so much rejection and you really yeah. you know I think that my family really thought that I was very delicate naive and uh, I think in ways I was you know especially when my grandmother was alive but they just know they just know yeah. and so they didn't so well, to I answer the question them. I feel like in in the sense that I am performing and I am so much an and artist in my soul I mean and that's yeah, part of your family. that way but it's hard. Like I think that legacy, that legacy is bomb diggity, pop it, it locking. Is. Like I don't it know is. how to even touch that. It you is. know. But don't. see, I don't. I don't actually think you have to touch it, because I think it's a different time, and you are a different person. And I, somebody was. I think it was Bob was telling me. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Bob was telling me about this young girl. She was like a virtu virtu virtuoso on the violin, mm -hmm. and she composed her own music. A deal. She was twelve or something. And she, but she's like she's out of you know Norway or Sweden or something and and some interviewer asked her if she wanted to be the next Mozart and she said no I wanted to be the next Elana which is her name she was like yeah. I just want to be me yeah which I think is really we're all just trying to be ourselves right isn't that yeah. like the point like live your life authentically be truthful to who you are. Um, don't worry about what the perception outside is because you can't change it, right? You can't. Honey. Though, however, with wigs, you can. You can. You can change it. <laughs> Steve likes this look. Steve, I agree. Really? I think this is real pretty. I really like Thank it. You. Yeah, yeah. I might get my hair cut like that. Let me call it. Yeah, yeah. Don't borrow my wig. <laughs> <laughs> I might. <laughs> I'm not gonna show up on Crazy Bitches set and I'm gonna be like in a different wig every day. I'll be like, what are you doing? Yeah, taking, You're taking my ta thing. Taking your thing. But you know, you were talking to me about this whole idea of so um, you change wigs depending on what character you're going up for? Right? No, and depending or on no. what character I feel inside. But when you go to an, on auditions, <laughs> do you. No, I just wear my hair. You just wear your hair? I never wear wigs on auditions. And Fiona! Hey, Fiona! Fiona. Um, way from Australia. Yeah. Um, but but so, I get so wiggy with it. When you change your wig, does it change the way people treat you? Yes. And Absolutely. Absolutely. It's yeah. It's it, it can be like night and day with my own hair. And this is in life. This is in casting because really with my own hair, which was what I started with. Uh, it's all very strong, very professional, very together. I'm nobody's girlfriend. I'm nobody's I wife. I think that's just crazy. I'm not damaged. I have no like traumatic life experiences with my short hair. I'm a doctor. I'm a lawyer. Right. Yeah. I'm you know a social worker. And but then when I put on wigs, like you know, I have a softer side, a sexier side, a more right. playful side, and you know, people don't see that. So wouldn't wouldn't it make sense to change your wig depending on? Oh Jesus! Bubbles went off again. Um, uh, Naya's falling out of the tub. Um, wouldn't it make sense to to then wear wigs that match a different kind of character? So you're, you know, kind of. Oh my God. You're so you're changing the perception of the casting director. Wouldn't that be? I'm riffing now for no reason except that <laughs> Naya is. Trying to brush her hair. Oh my god, this wig. This so wig. Uh, uh, it's too much. <laughs> it's too much. Oh, oh you just smattered me. This is Vivica Fox. Vivica's, <laughs> this is Vivica's life. I love it. Oh, wait, I think it looks 
good too. Right, but it's different. If anyone totally was here different. at the start, this is so vastly different. So different than with my yeah. shaved head. Yeah. Oh, so different. So different. But you know, I think it's amazing. I mean, I, I think that goes to casting issues that we have in Hollywood. If you walked in the room and I didn't know you and you had the short hair, I would not. I get why they type people. Yeah. But I would immediately go, oh, I could totally use her as a love interest. No. You know, I, I could. Yeah. Well, you. Yes. But it is a problem that we have in casting is that everybody is just fit into their little slots. You are this, and that's all you're going to be. Um, it's in life, too. I mean, we're talking casting, but I think it it's is in life, too. Life. Absolutely. It's, it sucks. Absolutely. People make really fast decisions about who you are from the minute they see you. They do. And you, unless you, they are willing to spend time with you and actually get to know you, they their assumption is probably wrong. I've had yeah. I've had people make way wrong assumptions about me. Way wrong. Like I know, what? I have a lot of people think that I'm I'm bitchy, that I'm a bitch, or that I'm um, stuck up. Really? Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I used to get that a lot because I I can be shy, believe it or not. Yeah. And I used to go into, I, I actually, I, when I go into a, like an environment where there's a bunch of people and I, and I don't know anybody, mm -hmm. um, I have to actually work myself up to do it, you know, to go um, if I know that's what I, Nina and Elizabeth too, Nina, hi. Elizabeth. Um, yeah, I have to, I have to work myself up to it. I have to go, oh no, no, Jane, okay, you're going to go to this thing and you're going to be fine and you're going to mingle and, and then when I get there, if I'm by myself. I have to go, Jane, go talk to that stranger over oh, there. God, yeah, yeah, I totally have to yeah. do that. And then, yeah. you know, when Bob and I go to things, we stand in a corner. No! And we talk to each other. I mean, not in a bad way. We're just like, oh, where's the buffet? And then we get our cocktails, and then we stand there and look at people. But, you know, like, you're getting invited to these big Hollywood parties, and yeah. you're supposed to, you know, network and mingle. Mingle, yeah. No, I'm terrible. So, so I, yeah, I, I think because I'm sh I can come across... Because I can come across as quiet. Yeah. Sometimes quiet is perceived as arrogant or like I don't care. Yeah. Like I just don't care to talk to people. Yeah. When in fact it's the opposite. I just don't. Yeah. I just don't have the. En I don't have the energy in a positive way. Like it takes a lot yeah. for me to do it. Yeah. So I mean, I I get that a lot. That's interesting. And you know what's interesting too? I can curse a blue streak. People don't hear it. A blue streak. A blue That's streak. Who is that from? No. Curse a blue streak. I don't know. I don't know what it's from. If anybody knows what it's from, tell us because I don't know. But I, I can sit there and use swear words all over the place. Oh, and Sherry, that. hey, can we see Niles? Uh, we see woo, made it. Hi, ah, Niles. Ah, ah. Fiona, you are just bottom. so bad. They yeah. match the top. With <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> just the girls. Oh, the girls go great. They look great. They're doing. Great. I mean, look, mine. You know, I, I usually have yeah, the camera yeah. like, down a little bit more. Ba, 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 there you go. Na, na, na. And then I can get up high. And, hey, 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 hey. hey. Uh -huh. um, so, uh, so anyway, yeah. I mean, I don't think people hear me curse. And if I get really mad and I yell, people don't hear me yelling. No, I'm not kidding. I'll go up to somebody later and go, I'm so sorry I, I yelled about that whole thing and I got mad. And they're like, what are you talking about? I have no I have idea. to say, on the set of Crazy Bitches, she was really amazing. And you could see, like, there were days that, <laughs> yeah. that things didn't... I remember we had to go home. Something happened mm -hmm. one time, and it was the middle of the night, and you're like, I we cried. can't finish. I cried. And, but with us, she was amazing. Like, you were so calm. And I could see something behind your eyes was slightly twitching. But what came out was luck, always. You're really good. Thank amazing. you. Yeah. Well, I yeah. really love being on set and I love my actor. You do. I really do. do. I mean, having been an actor, I like, I love the craft. I love what you guys do. I love what you bring. You know, when when an actor comes on set and trusts me, yeah, that just makes me so happy. It's just yeah. an incredible experience. The bond and, and what you can accomplish when an actor and a director trust and love each other. There's just this, I don't know, it's hard to describe. All right, and um, and you know I'm gonna be able to hopefully describe it better, better starting on Sunday. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what day you work, but uh, oh, you work on the second, right? Um, yes. But I start shooting on Sunday, which is uh, pretty incredible and pretty exciting. And hey, Dinah, and there's a you know bun bunch of people I owe a thank you to, some of whom are watching right now. 
for supporting the, the, the yeah. film and the web series and you know always being there when I am feeling like I'm never going to make it uh, they've been there Michelle Michelle hi Michelle, Michelle. yay um, so I just I just want to take a moment and say thank you because I'm going into production and it's exciting and it Woo! makes me so happy yes. it makes me so happy yeah uh, to be doing what I think I'm supposed you know I'm meant to yeah. do yeah yeah, yeah. Um, and, and to get to play with beautiful lovely friends like you well it's just I could just have to say you're so awesome and so wonderful and sweet like it it feels good to have good things happen you work your ass off i do work my ass ass well off. i haven't really i mean i you, you work know. your ass off stop playing it's still there okay yeah, you then. work your ass down <laughs> i whittle it down i'm <laughs> down i'm getting down on the bench uh yeah so but um so look for nayo and hey shada you're, you're late my friend but uh, it's so nice to see your name pop up um, I love it. Oh, and Sheila Ellis just showed up and I yeah okay Mama's I love you guys uh, I, I love you guys and yeah. we're past 630 which we rarely do and Bob is doing oh, the time thing on I me know. check out my young and the restless all right and when, when, when is it when is it when's the young and restless oh it aired oh it aired already it it's aired. Aired. So you could probably find I it mean, on, on something that's YouTube. a hot mess See, I'm terrible. And then you did Ventura. Or Ventura. No, Verizon. Verizon. She That's did. up. People no, I see that. Oh, and I have... think I can say, I did another commercial. It's with that Academy Award winning director. It was really awesome. Can't you say who? I don't know. Well, okay. Look for Nayo in some commercial that's coming up by some really famous director. Ah, it's uh, good. It's good. I bet it's good. Yeah, it is. I bet it's good. Uh, yeah. We're going to see a lot more of her. She's, I think you're amazing. I love you. I love you too. Yeah. We love each other. Thanks for watching. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. See you maybe next week if I can get into the hot tub at six o'clock. Yes. yes. yes.